one time and you say a nice thing. I love you too, baby. I had to turn down all of Universal. I had to tell Universal that Fast Bag had to end so that I could come here and talk to you. See, Dobie bought a table to watch me all night. Well, what is I don't have to do it all night. <laughs> Do you really want me to get up there and talk? Yeah, I do. I mean, that's why I asked you. It's like embarrassing. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm like... in London time, but the chick. I mean, Canadian. How much time do I got? Really? You have like one minute. <laughs> one minute. Like, remember my birthday? Like, the like, attempt that. One minute. One remember minute, please. Remember what I said at your birthday? Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I gotta be more. I, I know this is a thing. But I just love her so much that if I'm around her, it's like I'm her teddy bear and she's my blankie. <laughs> Seriously, it's like no one's ever seen anything like it. It's uh, you can't separate us. Uh, the love is so deep. It's not like you're, you're, you're here and I know you've come from a long distance to come here. <laughs> and it's like, uh, okay, so Vin's gonna present for Ruby, but the difference is that Ruby, unlike what happens customarily in Hollywood where you're asked to say something, you say some nice things about your fellow actor or the director, and I want to come up here and I want to talk about how she's a trailblazer, and then I go, fuck that. <laughs> who she is to me and who she is to my family and who she is to my daughter transcends all of this Hollywood stuff. In my life, in my personal life, and, and, I, and there's a million people that tell you all of her accomplishments, but Ruby came into my life at a, at a very critical time. I had lost my brother Pablo, and never in a million years imagined that the hole in my heart could be filled by this actress, by this talent from Australia. A woman, a woman who, today's my mother's birthday. Oh, I, it's, you got to tell. I will. I'm telling you. I will. She's going to flip out. You, you have to call after all this bullshit. You have to call <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to call now. You have to call now and say happy birthday. Really I will. I promise. Uh, got a lot of people here, but let's not hold you. So she, um, my mother, uh, has had a hard life. And it's her birthday today. I only say that because there's a similarity between Ruby Rose and my mother. Maybe that's uh, allowed for this unique relationship. The relationship that I am so blessed to have with Ruby is one that um, ignores gender and ignores sexuality. It's, it's, evidence, it's evidence that in the future, humans will love one another regardless of any preconceived ideas. but I also think how lucky I am as a mortal like the rest of the immortals to have Ruby Rose
I had ten dollars for every time Vim was late. Like, what in my life? <laughs> I'd be a billionaire. Uh, and if I had five dollars for every time a snippet of my career came up, only included action and, uh, and a lesbian punchline, I'd be a millionaire. Uh, but it's, no, it's fine, it's fine. You're, Naomi Watts has a lot uh, more work than I do, and they had to go through her whole back catalog to find all of the amazing performances she's done, so they had to rush through my. <laughs> got them. I mean, thank God I, I do my own stunts. Can you imagine how embarrassing that would be that with somebody else doing all of those same stunts? Can you imagine how embarrassing that would be that with somebody else doing all of those things? It's hard enough for an actor without standing there and being like, that wasn't me. That wasn't me either. It's a good explosion. I wasn't the shark. The rest of it is me. Hence the spinal surgery. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so I did, I wanted to, uh, wow, there's so many things happening here. I want to, Vin, I, I love you. I hate you so much because I didn't want to cry and then you made me cry before I get up here. And we, we have a rule, like, Vin and I hate these things. We pretend to be pretty tough. Short hair and tattoos. <laughs> so tough, right? Um, and we both have such gnarly stage fright and anxiety and then he comes up and he's late and then it brings more attention to the fact that I may have been existing in this room. <laughs> and then he comes in and then they redo it and then Eddie Perfect pretends that he hated the show we did together but really it was a great show. <laughs> it was a reality TV show. I stand behind it. It's for underprivileged children. They weren't really but we advertised it like it was. It's for underprivileged children. They weren't really but we advertised it like it was. <laughs> I did it. Fox 8. Uh, I think my show is on there. I'm sorry CW. I'll take that back. They don't hate this, do they? Um, and I wanted to start by saying all that stuff first, and then uh, a script that I wrote. I, I wrote a speech in my sleep last night. I, I wrapped it at 2 a.m., and, and I'm doing a thing called a crossover, which of course you guys are very familiar with. It's, it's very cool. That table is very familiar with it. So all the superheroes from all of the DC, CW, planet things, we all come together, we do five hours of television. We're DC, Marvel came out and did this whole like, Avengers is 10 hours thing, so now we have to do like a 10 hour movie. It's great. Um, no, it's great. Bat, being Batwoman is awesome. Woo! But I've been to like seven planets in the last two weeks. And I had like two hours sleep last night. I wrapped at 2 a.m. and I wrote this speech. And then I saw my dog just by the fire and I was like, oh, I just gonna snuggle next to my love dog. I love my dog so much. Snuggle next to my dog. I wake up to my alarm and, and I'm still fully dressed. And I check my phone for, for this amazing speech I wrote. I didn't write a speech. Um, and I checked my phone from, for this amazing speech I wrote. I didn't write a speech. Um, I wrote a weird joke about Uranus, the planet, <laughs> that I thought was somehow necessary for everyone to know, and uh, that everyone should know what 222 means. So I haven't quite deciphered what any of that was, but I wrote it in my sleep and it was very powerful. <laughs> um, then I got here and thought I just want to not have much attention brought to myself considering I'm very sleep deprived. Um, so here we are. So I want to thank uh, the Australians in film for having me and for this amazing award and recognition. And thank you for everything that you do. Um, sometimes I just need to be around Australians. I, I really do. I can't explain it. I don't know if it's because I'm homesick. Um, I just, I fucking love Australians. And you know what, they're always on time. And, uh, and I think it's because it's humbling and it's grounding and sometimes this, this career that we have, um, you, do, you can like not feel grounded and you can not feel like you're yourself when you're playing so many other characters all the time. So when I'm in a room full of accents that sound like mine, it just makes me happy. I need water. So I'm mine. Passing me a glass of water. Um, but it's humbling and it's grounding and it reminds me of where I came from. Because we can so easily compartmentalize life before we moved to the States and life before we moved to the States or life before we had an audition, life after, life before we had our big break, life after we had our big break. And it's really important that that common thread, oh, thank the Lord Jesus. Uh, it's really important that we keep that thread alive because I like being in rooms like this. I get nervous in rooms like this because I know it's going to remind me of home. I know it's going to remind me of my childhood. I know it's going to make me emotional. That didn't help. And that's a tough thing. But I know that the only reason why I'm where I am today is because of my childhood.
because of the risk that I took moving to the States and, and doing what I did. Um, what I think about is when I was a kid, like it was, what are we saying? It was shit ass. That's what it was. It was a shit ass childhood. And what was great is that I fell into films and, and movies and storytelling and plays and church choir and all these things to escape reality. And then as an adult, I get to be a kid and I get to give back to that child and I get to make believe and I get to get in costumes and I get to play these characters and I get to be a superhero. So if that isn't one of the greatest blessings of my life and one of the strangest mysteries, because I was a very strange child, um, then I don't know what is. So, um, sorry on the teleprompter, but yeah, thanks, Ben. Um, we are both very lucky to be here. One, that I didn't kill you. B, we killed Tony Collette in a movie, which is basically sacrilegious basically sacrilegious in my country. Um, I would like to thank my mum who has always supported me uh, in my dreams, except for boxing actually, I do that was, she didn't support that at all. I want to thank Jen Houston for giving me my first break. I remember like what it was like beforehand and what it was like since then, very different. And probably have never heard me speak in such an Australian accent in my life. Uh, my lawyer, coward, you need one of them. Um, and just everyone, everyone that's here, thanks, appreciate it.